two. Buckle my shoe. Buckle my shoe. Three. Thought we gotta hit the stove. Five, six, back in the mix. Seven, eight, four, and two. Oh. Get oh. the here. And today I'm going to discuss the importance, in my opinion, of cross-referencing implied volatility percentile and or IV rank, whatever you want to call it, uh, with an implied volatility chart. So first off, we're looking at a 52-week chart, a one-year chart of Adobe, and it's telling us at the top left-hand corner here in this custom script, the IV percentile is 65. If you don't have this custom script here, you can go to the trade tab and you can go look under here under uh, today's option statistics, and it's the third one down, current IV percentile, 65. So back to the chart. This number here represents where Adobe's IV is currently in relation to where it's been in the past 52 weeks. So it's saying that it's roughly in the 65th percentile as relation to where it's been in the past 52 weeks. So we can cross-reference this number by looking down here at the chart. I've already, already drawn some lines here. So we can see basically the top end of the uh, implied volatility for on this one year chart of Adobe is you know, right around 36 and a half, 37, the top end of the range, right? The bottom end of the range is right here around 20. So currently it is sitting at 30.023, so 30.23%. I would say that that is definitely near the top end of the range which is accurately reflected by this IV percentile number of 64. So it's basically saying that you know where the current level is is about 64th percentile of the top end of the range here, or, or its total, you know, where it is in the range. 50 being the mean, you know, basically the middle of uh, you know, where it's been in the past 52 weeks. So the way you use this number is as a premium seller you want your IV percentile to be as high as possible, you know, 100 being great, because that means it's more probable that the implied volatility is going to revert back towards the mean of 50. And if you're a premium buyer, or you're looking at debit strategies, you want your IV percentile to be as low as possible, zero being the most optimal, of course, because in that case, you think it's more probable that the implied volatility is going to revert up towards the mean of 50. So in this case, we're at 64. As a premium, you know, a credit strategy would be more desirable than a debit strategy here, because it's more probable that that implied volatility is going to revert down towards that mean of 50, and possibly even below 50. So the higher higher IV percentile means sell premium. Lower IV percentile means buy premium. When you're right at 50, it's pretty neutral. I tend to be more on the sell side of premium, or just don't do anything. But anyway, back to the discussion. Cross-referencing here, this looks like a very accurate representation. 64 is the current IV percentile. Looks like a very accurate re representation um, based on this implied volatility chart. Let's take a look at an example that I don't think looks like an accurate representation. And that is P. Oops. So we're looking at Pandora here. This is a one-year chart. Again, IV percentile telling us what you know, where it is in the range of the past 52 uh, weeks of trading, or 252 trading days in the year. So we're looking at a one-year chart. It's saying the average percentile is 50, which is basically at the mean, right? Um, you know, not a great opportunity to sell premium, but I would probably lean towards selling premium if I, if I was going to force a trade in Pandora versus buying premium, just because I'm a premium seller at heart. But um, in this case, if you look down here, I drew some lines again. The top end of the range, I would say, is right around 80 yeah, we did have a little push above above 80 here. Yeah, so, you know, 80, 85. Lower end of the range, I don't think is very arguable as it's around about 50, you know, right around 50. Currently, we're at 0.5377. So, in my opinion, we're at, at the low end of the range on Pandora. I think a more accurate IV percentile would personally be 10. Of course, this data is calculated based on where the IV has been in the past 52 weeks, and it's taking into consideration this two or three day blip down to uh, to 20 IV. And as you can see, that was a quick spike, or a quick drop down and then a quick spike back up. You know, it recovered within a, a day or two. So it's not, it's not the uh, calculation's fault that it's taking that into consideration 
it, it should take that into consideration because it happened within the past 252 trading days. But if you visually look at it, you can see it's not a very accurate representation. So in this case, I would actually lean towards the side of buying premium in Pandora versus uh, something, or maybe just stay away until this little blip gets off the screen. So it's going to be off the screen in about you know, two and a half, three weeks. Uh, and then you'll, you'll have a really good feel and a more accurate representation. But, you know, that's, that's just one example. It doesn't happen all the time. You know, something, something that happens extremely often. But I think it's very important to cross-reference the uh, IV percentile with the implied volatility chart for the sake of uh, this type of situation where you get that quick blip to the downside. Or you might get a quick pop to the upside that throws things off and makes it look like the implied volatility percentile is really low when in fact it's quite high in relation to the majority of the range, but you had some sort of crazy pop to the upside that's throwing everything off. So, you know, in those cases, I would definitely be a premium seller. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the way to get the implied volatility chart on the bottom of your screen there is just go to studies, add study, and then go down to volatility studies all the way at the bottom, and go over here to imp volatility and that will add your implied volatility study at the bottom of the screen so that you can visually cross-reference. That's all I got for you today. Look forward to bringing you some more valuable videos in the future. Stay engaged, keep trading, don't let this dull market bring you down. Just go out there and seek knowledge and uh, gain, you know, gain the knowledge that will come in handy once this market you know, presents a little bit more opportunity. So right now, it's pretty lame. Talk to you soon. Peace out.